Hello all YouTubers, the weather dude here, with your weather forecast for your exact location. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning back in my presentation for March 26th, 2019. As always, please consider subscribing, as well as ringing the bell notifications. Never miss one of my videos again. Today's video is going to be my preliminary 2019 summer outlook. I see a lot of the weather people that I watch have been releasing an outlook, and I thought now was a perfect time to release my summer outlook. This outlook is forecast to change. Like I said, spring just started. Okay, so we still got a while to go before summer starts. But this will be like my first preliminary. And I'm sure I'll issue a couple or a few outlooks after that. Also, be sure to look out for my next hurricane season outlook. Should come either later this week or this weekend. So as if you want to subscribe and ring the bell notifications, you will know exactly when my video comes out for the hurricane season outlook. Also, a little... Note before we get started, there is a new source storm system that is sweeping across central United States. Again, I will likely be talking about this storm in my next video as I gather some more information about it. This is the likely storm track as of now. Okay, so we're going to get started on the summer outlook. Okay, this is for April. This is a CFS model. Okay, they, they do have a warm bias, okay, but as long as you don't go too far onto the feature, the temperature looks are, for the most part, they are pretty accurate. So... The northeast is warm, okay? I would agree with that for the month of April, okay? And we have the northern plains is cooler as well. But if we skip to the summer, okay, and you'll this will be factored in a little bit to my outlook. You're going to have a lot of these low-pressure systems, and they're going to throw a lot of cool air back down. Now, these aren't temperatures necessarily, okay? So the jet stream flow would be sort of like this. Uh, I mean, not all the way down here. Okay, maybe the jet stream will be somewhere, maybe like right here. Okay, the jet streams will take a big dip down to the Gulf of Mexico during the summertime. But you will notice a cooler pattern early in the summer for a lot of areas in the south, central, and southeast. And I think it will turn more to average and above average, possibly later on in the in the season, or in the yeah in the summer season once we get into those more calmer conditions with the high pressure taking place. And then the MSLP you see kind of starts to fade because they're going farther out in time. Okay, so now we're going to get right to my outlook, which is right here. Okay, so this is a lot, so we're going to break it down step by step and make sure that wherever you live in the United States, you guys can know what your summer is going to be like. And if you're still not sure after I explain it to you, just drop your, your state, okay, in the comment section below if you're still not sure. And I can give you an outlook. I can tell you by comment if you still don't recognize after I show you this so we're gonna start with the west okay it's gonna be warmer and drier a wet period or two is possible but I don't think it's gonna be too likely okay and I have that warm that warmer and drier standing down the Sierra okay the burn scars okay and know that little nubby that's sticking out that is not a mistake that I actually put that there on purpose so I think it's gonna extend down the mountains of Sierra Nevada Okay, I might even include on my next outlook, I might even include Los Angeles in that as well, but I'm not going to yet. Okay, and in between the warm and dry air and all the other colors, okay, we're going to have this area of average conditions from Los Angeles all the way up to the, the mountains of western South Dakota and also into northern North Dakota around Bismarck. Okay, and Bismarck to Los Angeles is going to be about average for you as of now. Okay, I don't just look at one model like the CFS and say, oh, this is how the summer is going to be. No, you have to take... As a meteorologist, you have to take multiple models into account and then decide up amongst yourself. Okay, so I think in this area of light blue that you see right here, okay, I think it's going to be cooler temperatures early and average to slightly, like a tad above average maybe, later on in the summer. Okay, and this area of black outline I have right here. Okay, this is not drawn by my bandy can draw, this is drawn by the paint because I did some Microsoft paint. Okay, that's right here. This is your area we have a both a blue and an orange color. Okay. And this means that you're going to have cooler temperatures early and average temperatures later, but also below average severe weather. Now, I know a few people have been saying above average severe weather. I just don't think so because as I've looked, El Nino generally produces less tornadic activity. Okay, La Nina is generally where we have more hurricanes, more tornadic activity, and also... Well, we have less snowstorms potentially in the winter time, but we do certainly have more tornadic activity and more hurricanes with a La Nina. And I don't quite think we're going to have a La Nina. I think we can more have, there's a slight chance we have a neutral pattern, and I'll show you what that means in my hurricane season video. 
that I will be doing later next later this week or this weekend. But I do think it's going to be more of an El Nino pattern for this summer, for the hurricane season. Okay, and it's a whole orange area, okay? Not in the black outline, just the orange area itself. I think, again, we'll, we'll have below average severe weather. Now, along the coast, you might notice from Corpus Christi extending all the way up to Long Island, New York, I think I'm going to have an average hurricane season. Okay, and I did extend up to Long Island, New York, because Long Island, New York usually, usually don't get that many chocolate systems to hurricanes, okay? One example, though, was Sandy in, back in 2012, and I'm sure, and Irene in 2011 as well, okay? So, an average hurricane season, we could have a storm or two, possibly. But I think right now, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it at average. That's the way it's looking right now. Okay, minor precipitation swings, okay? From Southern Virginia all the way down to about Orlando, Florida. I think we could go from slightly below average to slightly above average at times, okay? So, it's not going to be major precipitation swings, but we will have some uh, small jumps, possibly. Nothing that, that should harm too many people, as it looks right now. In this red area, okay, across from eastern North Dakota, central, north central Minnesota, swinging down to about southern Pennsylvania, northern Delaware, and maybe even Baltimore, and swinging all the way back up to Caribou, Maine. That's your warmer conditions, okay? And in this gray outline, in fact, okay, we're combining both the red and the green. Okay, the green means moderately above average precipitation. Okay, light green is more of your slightly above average precipitation and some minor precipitation swings possibly. But if you're just in the red area and not in a gray outline, that's going to be where your warmer conditions are taking place. Okay, and if you're in just the green, that's your above average precipitation. Okay, so that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, I will be adjusting this hurricane, this, excuse me, the summer outlook as time marches on, and also I'll be adjusting my hurricane season outlooks in the future. Thank you for watching. I am Dweather Dude, signing off till next time. Thank you for being so thoughtful.